Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. I'm still shuffling, right? But I'm being led to take that card that just flipped out. I don't know what it is yet. It's still face down. I'm still shuffling. I may cuss, but I don't curse. Let's get that situated first, all right? Bars. But I'm being told to take this card. Thoughts. Let's 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 bring in the beauty first. Let's bring in the beauty. All right. Thoughts. First time drawing this dragon card, so I'm going to read the interpretation. Bear with me. For the wise men among our forefathers, the druids and sorcerers, air was the master element. Air was the most difficult to control, unfathomable. As elusive as our minds and our thoughts. Elusive. Everything is connected to everything else through the element of air. We think as we breathe in and out and we are all breathing the same air. Our thoughts are energy and this energy flows through the air. Our thoughts and words create our future. When you think of yourself as what you will become. It is now time to cast off old ways of thinking. Those thoughts that keep you down that are born of fear. The negative thoughts that you have about others will also rebound on you and remember what others think about you has nothing to do with you oh man can we get any deeper than this so this is a meditation ritual that's attached to this card as well light at least one white candle and play some calming instrumental music close your eyes and imagine you are standing high up on the summit of a mountain a fresh breeze blows around you air surrounds you and courses through you it is cleansing your thoughts let all your thoughts go with the next gust and leap from the summit of the mountain. A dragon gleaming white in the brilliant sunshine will catch you on its back. Sit on the back of the white dragon and don't think about it. Simply feel. Fly with the dragon and feel freedom. Feel the wind. Feel the sun. Feel God. Recognize that the chains that hold you captive are your own negative thoughts. Your freedom lies in this recognition. The dragon returns you to the earth, and from now on, all those who cross your path will see you shining. Close your eyes, breathing in and out, and then open them as you are reborn. Perform this meditation for a total of seven times on successive days, always at the same time of day. So beautiful. So Piscean, too. You know, so poetic. Let's get into this tarot, all right, y'all? Let's get it, Pisces. How y'all feeling, though? You know what I mean? If you're not feeling the greatest, it's okay. It's understandable, too. We're going through this retrograde. We're about to. Um, some of us are already feeling it already. Pause. Um, you know, it just is what it is. We got this whole eclipse thing. You know, it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. We, we all know what's going on. Or we trying to figure it out, at least, right? We're trying to swim through it. Sort of like... Kind of, sort of. <laughs> I like that kind of, sort of shit. But, um, cross watchers, you're welcome to be here too. I feel y'all just entered the room. It's all good. It's all good. Um, and that's pretty much it. Oh, if you need to, if you need me or you want me, link to the website will be in the description box. It'll take you to my website. You can scroll down a landing page and it'll, it'll show you all the products and services that I have to offer, right? Including, you know, setting up an appointment for an astrology reading or a tarot card reading. Your choice. I could correlate the two. Too. It's like, I've been doing that lately, so yeah. Cut. 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 This first card represents the situation at hand for the Pisces energy. The Prince of Pentacles. Okay. This card represents how you feel about the situation. The knight in reverse. This card represents the fact that to consider about the situation. The prince of swords. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, the knight, by the way, is an additional card that's added to this deck by the, you know, the creator of the deck. Sometimes, um, people that make decks, they create 
It's usually two cards, too. They'll create an additional two cards to the deck to give it more flavor or, you know, you know their own signature on it, if you will, right? So the knight in reverse is like... It's basically saying... I don't know. I don't think the night time is... You may be having trouble sleeping. Let's just put it that way. You may be having trouble sleeping and it's... This card here is trying to tell you that maybe you know you can arrange your life in a way that um, supports more sleep or better sleep. Not only that, I think this is a direct signal to say, look, you know this is stellium in Pisces right now, right? I'm trying to communicate with you. I'm trying to tell you something. Take a nap. Even if it's throughout the day, in the afternoon or something like that, take a nap. I need you to get in this night element because I, I need to tell you something. Oh, I want to tell you something. I'm trying to show you something. I'm trying to have you dream. Okay? Because if not, you can actually... F I don't want to say fear, but you could start to be skeptical of the unknown. All right? Because the night normally will guide you through the darkness, through the unknown, right? But if you're not in tune with it, then it can be the opposite. All right, we're beginning there. So let's look at the situation at hand with the Prince of Pentacles. So, you're in an element right now that is thriving off of pure intelligence. Like, I'm picking up on real mental gymnasts here. Like, you could be in the Olympics for using your brain. Um, when it comes to handling money and finances, you're like a gem. To the point where... Oh, man. Yeah, I feel it. This is deep. Okay, to the point where normally... The stock market, we're going to call them society. We're going to call that society right now. Thrives off of the pulling on the heartstrings of, I would say, the classmen, right? To keep it fair. In order to get them to buy. Hurry up and buy. Hurry up and buy. Hurry up and buy. Hurry up and buy. You, on the other hand, you're not that, you're not that simple. You're not that easy. But nonetheless, you're not out preaching on the rooftops that people shouldn't hurry up and buy either. You're not doing that because you understand how that can undermine one's intelligence, their intelligence, despite the level of intelligence that they possess. It might not be on your same frequency, and that's okay. You know that it's better to let that just be instead of to make that a thing, to make that a talking point. And not for nothing, it is because you know the folly of men when they participate in the economy to where they hurt themselves based upon what society calls for, what it wants. They move to the drum, to the beat of society's drum, while you don't. You move to the beat of your own drum. And I'm picking that up. You see how you're mounted on the bull, pause, because that's crazy. But you're mounted on the bull, the bull is asleep. The bull ain't tripping about nothing when it comes to you handling them coins. They know you got this. Um, now, not for nothing, people may underestimate you. They do, as a matter of fact. They do. But that's a part of your intelligence. That's a whole integral part of it. They're supposed to. And this is how you slip and weave through the radar a lot of the times. Because they're not suspecting of you. Very Piscean. This Prince of Swords, though, we got to get into this. Before I go any further on elaborating on the Prince of Pentacles, 
because the Prince of Pentacles and the Prince of Swords are facing opposite directions. Um, hold on. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything here. Hmm. You're also in a position with the Prince of Pentacles to utilize man's desires or woman's desires to benefit you. You understand what I'm saying? Without me getting too treacherous and being, you know, funny about it, sarcastic about it, it just is what it is. If you got it, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. I'm speaking in parables right now. I'm being a little elusive, but I know you know what I'm saying, Pisces. Hmm. Hmm. This is deep. All right. I get it. 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 You see how I brought up the knight in the beginning, right? It's in the reverse position. Sleep is imperative for health. Because you could be eating all the correct foods. You could be working out. You could be doing yoga. You could be meditating. Drinking your water, minding your business. Yada, yada, yada. You can be very intelligent, as you are in this scenario, doing your thing. Unsuspecting, underestimated, flying under the radar. Cool. It's all good. Sleep on me if you want. It's fine. But what can happen is, because you thrive so well in this positioning, right? Right? I told you, these two are facing opposite directions, but I, I really want you to see the difference in demeanor between these two princes. All right? Now, the only way you can go from this, see all the vegetation underneath, the greenery? Those are heart foods. Those are electric foods. The shirt wearing is green. The hat on the head is green. There's vegetation all in the background. It's greenery, baby. This fiery disposition here, this, this energy is if you don't get adequate sleep. It's really not as deep as I thought it was going to be, but it still is deep enough. Pause, because that's crazy. You see, and you know what? I just, man, I wish I remembered his name. I follow him too. I subscribe to him on YouTube. Man, I wish I remembered his name right now. I think it's Dante or something like that. He's like a, he's like a spirit. He's like a life coach. But he was talking about how the entities seep into our mind through our thoughts, especially people who are loners or be by themselves a lot, isolate a lot. And it's in those moments is when the entities start to whisper in our ears. I was just telling this to a person about how I isolate a lot, and it's I do it. First of all, that's how I am naturally, innately. But I, I also realize that there's such a strong sense of freedom by being isolated. It, it feels like, no, if you want to know what freedom is like, be by yourself. But I also told them that, be aware that the thoughts that cross my mind while being alone, they're not all the greatest thoughts in the world. In fact, if I was more busy and more active and more interactive with other people, I would be away from the entities that try to seep in and do what they do. And this is what I'm picking up from this card. You don't get the adequate sleep. You can become irate and disturbed by the entities that surround you, by the spirits that surround you, by the energy around you. You know, we Pisces, we're sensitive. We pick up on that shit real easy. And those thoughts can have you on a different trajectory. Having the world is out to get you, thinking that the world is out to get you, thinking that the people that see you doing your thing you might even think that they're on to your intelligence when i say on to you it's just like i said if you got the gift of gab and you use what you got to get what you want you know you know men and women's desires and it's just like okay i look how i look if that's attractive okay cool i'm going to utilize that if i say what i say in a certain type of way and people tap into that i'm going to utilize that 
you might start becoming paranoid about that. Like, oh, they're on to me. And I don't want to you. You're doing it because you're intelligent. They want you to speak that way. They want you to look that way. They want to feel your presence, your frequency. Should you still be like this? But if you don't, take heed to try to get that eight hours in. Or try to get some real sleep or, you know, dream again. Then you're potentially on the path of being in this vein. All right? And not for nothing, this is great. This could be great energy when it's utilized in the correct way. But you got to release the paranoia. You got to. This is an aggressive energy. But people can sometimes become aggressive because they just haven't had enough sleep or they haven't, you know. You know what I'm saying? Released or whatever the case may be. Something like that. Haven't released the desire and the passion. That men and women accumulate by watching your fine ass. I'm going to leave that right here. That's all I have to say right now. Until next time, I'm out.